If you're trying to grow your business through video, here are the three E's you have to know to create amazing content that connects to your ideal client. Hey, I'm Kim Ritberg. I spent 10 years in TV news. I launched the video unit for Us Weekly. I was in marketing at Netflix and Pop Sugar, and now I teach you, business owners, how to become thought leaders through video and podcast. So today we're talking about the three E's. This is a way to think about how to make content to grow your business. The three E's are educational, emotional, and entertaining. This is sort of a lens through which when you're creating content, you can think about what do I want my viewer to get from this? How do I want them to feel? What do I want them to learn? So I'm gonna start with educational. This is a very, very, very popular area of content. And I'm not just talking about for one specific social platform. I'm talking about across different social platforms. YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, whatever. Educational content is your goal of that video is to have people walk away with knowledge. There are many ways to do this. You could do this by saying, here are three tips to doing your own taxes. You could say, here's one way to cut your own hair. You're having people walk away with knowledge. So the actual execution of that, so educational is what they're getting away with, how they're doing that, a lot of people do that as a talk to camera. So I'm here, I'm talking to camera, and I'm teaching you information. There are plenty of other ways to do it. I could also, um, let's say I'm teaching you about health and wellness, and I'm talking about drinking water, the importance of hydration. I could film just this water bottle being filled up with water and still give you my tip as a voiceover. So again, that's the execution style of the video, but again, we're still talking about it being educational. And this is the sort of stuff I teach, by the way, when I guest teach for Syracuse University, I teach at NYU sometimes, and I speak across the country about this. So I'm taking those tips both from my years of media and my awards, and also from teaching regular business owners like you. So we just talked about educational, I'm now gonna talk about emotional. So when we're talking about emotional content, we're gonna ask ourselves, what do I want someone to take away from this? What do I want someone to feel from this video? You might see that as lifestyle content. So you might see somebody traveling around the world and talking about overcoming a struggle. Maybe it's a parent and how they decided to pivot their career to be more with their kids. Maybe it's an emotional story about a long lost couple reuniting. Again, at the end of the day, they want people to feel something. And that is different than an educational video. At the end of it, you want someone to say, oh, like that's sweet or wow, I wanna do that. So the outcome is emotional. Now how you execute on it, there's a lot of ways to execute that. So that could be you, me just telling you a story. I could just tell you a really sad story or a really incredibly inspirational and motivational story. Again, the output is that it's inspirational, but the execution style could just be talk to camera. You often see though a lot of motivational content with B-roll. B-roll is that footage of people walking and living their life, walking their dog, chopping their dinner, running along the beach. When they're not talking to camera, it's footage. So the inspirational content you often see is footage like that with either text or words under it to tell the story of what's happening. And the last E is entertaining. So when you're seeing funny videos, often lip sync videos or dancing videos or trending videos, those are often meant to be entertaining. So you're still creating that in line with the type of content you talk about. So maybe it's your profession or maybe it's your personal life. Maybe one of your content buckets is about your personal life. I'll talk about content buckets in another video, but in that sense, you're gonna be making videos that make people laugh that are still related to your fields. A lot of times there'll be trending music and you can lip sync to it. You can lip sync to the words, but it's your job to be creative to connect that back to you and your story. Now, the more you really understand what you're putting out there content-wise, the easier it is to make those. A lot of people feel like it's harder to do those funny videos. It feels a little out of their wheelhouse. I think over time, the more you get comfortable and understand how it's made, it becomes a little easier. Anyway, those are the three E's. Drop a comment below, was this helpful? Which one are you gonna use first? And make sure to follow me for more content about how to become a thought leader through video and podcast and how to get ideal clients through content.